Dear students, welcome to my next class on quantum mechanics. Today, we are going to derive the Schrodinger's time independent equation from the time dependent form. We have Schrodinger's time dependent equation as minus h cut square by 2m dou square psi by dou x square plus v psi is equal to i h cut dou psi by dou t. That is Schrodinger's time dependent equation. If you are having a system which is moving in a potential or which is in a potential which is dependent on time or with a potential which is time dependent then we need to solve the Schrodinger equation which is of the time dependent form and from that we will get the wave function and from the wave function we can find out all the dynamical quantities of the system. Now if we are getting a system which is in a potential which is time independent that is at a constant potential or which will be having a zero potential then such a system has to be studied by deriving Schrodinger's time independent equation from which we will get a wave function which will be time independent and on, on calculating on applying operators on this wave function we can calculate all the dynamical quantities of the system. That is for example if you are considering a free particle. Free particle means it is moving in zero potential. Zero potential is does not vary with time that is a time independent potential. For such a system we need to derive the Schrodinger time independent equation or we need to solve the Schrodinger time independent equation to get a wave function. From the wave function we can find out the physical quantities or the dynamical quantities of the free particle. So we, that is when we need a Schrodinger's time independent equation. We can derive the Schrodinger's time independent equation from the time dependent form. From here onwards the time dependent wave function psi will be represented as capital psi which is a function of position as well as time. This is, is represented as capital psi which is a function of position x and time t. If it is in one dimension, if it is in three dimension then we will be having three position coordinates. Psi will depend on three position coordinates x, y, z and a time coordinate. Now this wave function psi or any function which is a function of more than one variable can be expressed as the product of two functions which depends on single variable each. That method is known as the variable separable method. So this psi capital psi which is a function of x and t can be expressed as the product of two independent functions like this that is this capital psi which is a function of position and time will be it can be expressed as a function of small psi which is a function of position alone and phi which is a function of time alone psi which is a phi which is a function of time alone this capital psi which is a function of position as well as time can be expressed as the product of two functions one is a function of position alone and the other one is a function of time alone. This is known as the variable separable method. Mark it as equation number 2. In order to substitute the equation of this psi into this equation number 1, we have to find those second derivative of psi with respect to x and first derivative of psi with respect to t. For that, dou square psi by dou x square will be equal to for this, if you are taking the derivative of psi with respect to x, then phi can be considered as a constant because phi does not depend on position. It depends only on time. So, taking phi as a constant into d square psi by dx square. Because you can take the full derivative of psi with respect to x because psi depends only this small psi depends only on x psi is a function of a single variable so no need to take the partial derivative you can take the full derivative of psi with respect to x now taking dou psi by dou t then if you are we are finding the derivative with respect to time psi can be considered as a constant as psi does not depend on Time. So, psi into d phi by dt, psi into d phi by dt. You can take here also, you can take full derivative as phi depends only on time. 
Mark this as equation number 3 and this as equation number 4. Now we can substitute these two three equations. Equation number 2, 3 and 4 in equation number 1. That is minus h cut square by 2m. Dou square psi by dou x square is 5 into dou d square psi by dx square plus v into substitute equation number 2 psi x into phi you can simply represent as psi s psi n phi is equal to i h cut dou psi by dou t is here phi into d phi by dt substituting equations 2 3 and 4 in equation number 1 now we have we have to make the left hand side as a function of x alone and right hand side as a function of t alone for that we can we can divide this throughout by psi and phi that is dividing throughout by psi and phi we get minus h square square by 2m here phi and phi we cancel we get 1 pi psi d square psi by dx square plus v into dividing by psi and phi the both we cancel equal to i h cut here again this phi will cancel sorry this here we have psi this psi and psi will cancel and you will have a 1 by phi d phi by dt 1 by phi d phi by 1 by phi d phi by dt now we can see that left hand side is a function of x alone over here we have only functions of x alone and on the right hand side we have coordinate of time alone so if you are having an equation of this form we can write lh is equal to rh is equal to a constant that is if you have an equation of this form lh is a function of a single variable and rh is a function of a single variable then we can write lh and rh is equal to a constant here again we are taking the LHS as minus h cut square by 2m 1 by psi d square psi by dx square plus v is equal to constant e. We are taking this constant as e. Actually this e represents the total energy of the system and we can prove that this constant will be equal to the total energy but we are not going into the detail of getting this e as the constant. Anyway, this is a constant and this is the total energy of the system. Now, you can divide, multiply this throughout by, multiply throughout by psi, you will get minus h cut square by 2m d square psi by dx square plus v psi is equal to e into psi, e into psi, multiplying throughout by psi. Now again, you have to make the coefficient of the first term as 1. For that, you can multiply by minus 2m by minus 2m by h cut square. So then the first term coefficient will be equal to 1. We get d square psi by dx square minus 2m by h cut square into v into psi is equal to minus 2m by h cut square into e into psi. You can bring this term also to the left hand side and take 2m by h cut square as a common factor. Equation will be d square psi by dx square plus 2m by h cut square into e minus e. E term will be having positive sign and v term will be having a negative sign. So e minus e into psi is equal to 0. This is the Schrodinger's time independent equation. That is, this equation does not contain any time coordinate. So, this equation is Schrodinger's time independent form. That is, d square psi by dx square plus 2m by h cut square into e minus v into psi is equal to 0. Where e is the total energy and v is the potential through which the system is moving. 
This is Schrodinger's time dependent, time independent equation. This one is the Schrodinger's time dependent form, and this one is the Schrodinger's time independent form. So whenever you have a system which is time dependent, then you consider the Schrodinger time dependent equation and put a put potential into the system, then solve this equation, you will get psi of, or the wave function of the system. Once you get the wave function, you can calculate all the dynamical quantities like energy, momentum, angular momentum, uh, kinetic energy, potential energy, total energy, etc. And if you are having a system which is moving in a potential which does not vary with time or moving in a constant potential or zero potential then you need to take the Schrodinger's time independent equation which is d square psi by dx square plus 2 m by h square square into e minus v psi is equal to zero then upon solving this you will get the wave function psi from which, from which you can find that you can determine the dynamical quantities of the system here in this equation, m is the mass of the particle, h cut is h by 2 pi, where h is the Planck's constant, e is the total energy of the system and v is the potential through which the system is moving. So this is Schrodinger's time independent equation.